Our reading selection is a biography about Harriet Tubman, and the title is Conductor on the Underground Railroad. In 1851, Harriet Tubman led a group of 11 slaves to freedom, and we all know what's the meaning of slaves. Slaves are poor people who used to work for uh, rich uh, people, and they used not only to work for them, they were owned by the rich people. So they were sold and bought, and they had to do whatever they were asked to, even if it was unfair, even if they thought it was unfair, or even if it was really unfair, they had to do it. So Harriet Tubman led 11 slaves to freedom. During the month-long journey, she struggled to avoid capture on the trip from Maryland to Canada. So she helped those 11 slaves to go from Maryland or to escape from Maryland to Canada. And it took a month uh, of struggling in order to arrive at their destination. As you read the selection, think about how the system Tubman used to lead slaves to freedom came to be called the Underground Rail Road. Of course, you're going to understand that this refers to the setting, to the uh, pathway they followed in order to escape and of course under the supervision of Tubman and she was there with them guiding them all the time as for the vocab words that you will encounter we have fugitives fugitives is a noun and they are people fleeing from danger or oppression the second word is incomprehensible when I say incomprehensible it means that it's impossible to understand from comprehend to comprehend is to understand something that's comprehensible is understood incomprehensible it cannot be understood incentive is a motive or motivation reason to do something and of course it's a noun dispel means to get rid of by driving away to get rid of something is to dispel and it's a verb eloquence is a noun and it's the ability to write or speak gracefully and convincingly this is the meaning of eloquence the campers became fugitives when they built a campfire or they set up their tent or they ran away from an angry bear. Of course, when they ran away from an angry bear. I don't get algebra, complained Michael's little brother. It's incomprehensible. So algebra is incomprehensible. Does that mean that it's easy and straightforward? Is it too difficult to understand or it's useful and valuable? It's too difficult to understand. As we said, incomprehens incomprehensible means that it's impossible almost to understand. What is most likely Jamal's incentive for practicing the clarinet every day? He wants to be a rock star. He wants to play in the school band. Or he wants to get his homework done early. Of course, as you can see, this was, the, this was part of the story. Okay? And yes, he wants to play in the school band is the answer. Incentive means motive, why he does this, the reason he does this for. When Alexis heard this, heard some nasty gossip about her best friend, she decided to dispel the rumor. Alex decided to pass along the rumor to someone else or refuse to listen to gossip or explain why the rumor isn't true. Of course, refuse to listen to the gossip. Because Mariella is an eloquent writer and speaker, her guidance counselor suggested that she try out for the track team or the band or the debate team. She's an eloquent writer and speaker. So, the debate team. This story is a biography, and we all know that the biography is a story of someone's life written by another person. Please don't forget the difference between biography and autobiography. When it's a story written by another person, it's a biography. When it's a story written by the same person, of course, about his life, it's an autobiography.